In this video, I'm going to show the current status of the preview offer of the WebLogic on Azure Infrastructure as a Service. The first thing we do is click Create on the offer in the Marketplace. And this will bring us to a screen where we can fill out the values for the template. We have parameters for the WebLogic domain name, and a disambiguation on the DNS label prefix. This is useful because the DNS uh, is configured by the Azure template, so we can immediately access the um, public IP address and public DNS name of the WebLogic Administrator console. We are going to create a resource group to store this in. A resource group is simply a container in Azure that all of the resources will be placed into. I'll uh, we'll click OK and go on to the next blade. And I'm going to select a VM size. I'm going to choose A3 standard. Select that. And on the next page, we're going to provide the credentials for cluster creation. This is useful because the templates will automatically download WebLogic and install it on Oracle Linux 7.6 VM cluster. And uh, we have to provide our username and password for OTN because that's where it's going to download the WebLogic installer from. We also have to accept the OTN license agreement and the documentation will reference that OTN license agreement. The next two fields are the username and password for the admin account on the VM and the uh, WebLogic administrator for the console. This is very handy because when the, the provisioning of this offer is done, you will have an N node WebLogic cluster with the administrative console running on one server and uh, the remainder of the nodes. You can see there it says four VMs. Um, that includes the server, uh, the administration server node. So we click create and you can see in the console now it says submitting deployment in the resource group. So we will choose deployment in progress. And let's just take a look at the uh, status. You're going to see a lot of things happening here. So this creates, as I said, in our case, four VMs. And each VM has to have a virtual network interface card. All of them are connected together with um, a, a virtual network. And uh, each of them has uh, public IP addresses so they can talk to each other and be accessible. And um, let's just let it roll along a bit. We'll see a few other things happening here. Uh, there is a storage account created to uh, hold the uh, disks for the virtual machines. There is a, uh, you see that PID on the bottom? That's for resource tracking. Um, we can look into the details of all of the different steps that the template is undertaking and uh, see what's going on with that. This is the public IP address one. And uh, it's just a very simple way to find out what's going on as the offer is being provisioned on a set of new uh, virtual machines. Let's continue to look at the uh, PID resource here. And you can see this is uh, allowing us to track uh, in the um, Azure who is using the resource. So um, because you're installing this inside of one of your, you know, an Azure subscription, those details are tracked and, you know, the creator of the offer, in this case Oracle, is able to see who is accessing it and how frequently it's being used and all that kind of uh, useful telemetry. going to uh, now just continue to observe. There it is. The deployment is complete. And we will click Go to Resource. And this gives us all of the resources that the offer has deployed. And the one that we're interested in is the admin VM, um, because that's where we can go to get the WebLogic console. So we'll use the Azure uh, user interface to sort by type by virtual machine. 
and we're going to click on each of those. Um, go just click on the admin one. And here we're going to select the uh, DNS name, copy that to the clipboard, and then we're going to go and paste it into the browser. And of course, because this is WebLogic, uh, we're just going to append 7001 console because that's where this offer has stood up the admin console. And we're going to type in WebLogic and uh, the password that we put into the UI there. And you'll see that we quickly go to the standard, well-known WebLogic server admin console. And let's just explore a bit and we can look and see there is a cluster and the cluster that was created will have uh, a total of four nodes, three uh, worker nodes and the admin console. And so we'll just click on cluster one, take a look at that. And this is the standard console. We're just going to go and show that they're there. Each of the individual nodes of the cluster is ready to be worked with. And, uh, once we do that, we can demonstrate.